VIPs. You are the missionaries to save the world. You shall take possession of the land. God is the God of the covenant. And we are the people of the covenant. And the God of the covenant and the people of the covenant that connects us is the covenant of the word. We gave this praise. And so we shall stand, we shall stand upon the word of God, we shall stand. It is a saying that we stand, it, it means that we find the answer in all things. What kind of problems were you faced with this week? It doesn't matter. Because through the word today, God will give you the answer. May this worship be the uh, joyous worship where you find all the answers to your problems. We say that we live in a wilderness life. Inside of the wilderness life, there are more things uh, that we we are not satisfied than we are something that we are satisfied with. We are we have a lot of material wealth. But that also cannot give us satisfaction. Even in the Canaan, there are uh, seven tribes and 32 kings. And as they're walking down the path, <coughs> there, uh, as we're walking our path, we can be faced with uh, the, a field like land, the land of Canaan awaits us. If you do not have this mystery of the gospel, we will f face uh, great pain. If you do not have the gospel, we cannot live the lives uh, are in the right set of mind. That is why we must conclude with the gospel today. That is why today's title is the gospel that we must experience even today. It is the, we know this very well. It is the word that is given to us that are walking this wilderness path. Before Christ came, this is one of the most important words that God has given to us. Uh, the Jewish people, they thought of this uh, the most uh, needed. That is why they held on to this. If you see in verse 1 today, this is uh, connected by, uh, that is continued by chapter 5. So these are the com commands, decrees, and the law the Lord your God directed me to teach you. What does this mean? It means to concentrate in the Word of God. Uh, 
if there is something that we must do inside of our lives, it must, we must become the person of only the gospel. As if you see in verse 2, it's telling us that this must be relayed to our families and our children. And in verse 3, it says, it's telling us the land flowing with milk and honey. What does this mean? It is giving us the word that to have victory inside of our fields. Because we cannot have victory over the field with anything else, that is why we must hold on to God's word. That is why in verse 4 it says, Hear, O Israel. It's saying the complete gospel must be imprinted inside of our lives. If you see in verse 7 through 9, it's saying you shall teach them diligently to your children. And when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down, you must teach this. And if you see in the back, and tie it, write them on the door frames. And that is telling us that how much we must enjoy the gospel. And Moses is asking earnestly. And there is one part that he says the most importantly. is we must teach our uh, children to always serve God. And that is why I, we as parents, we must first hold on to this and we must teach this to our children. And so if you see in verse 6, it says you must engrave it inside of your hearts. And in verse 7 is, you shall teach them diligently to your children. And it's telling us to, we must te uh, teach our children to all before God. Yes, we, uh, as we live on, we build our skills and live on. And if we work diligently, it could get better. But the order of the relationship with God and relationship with people must not be changed. And you must teach them to all before God. is telling us that our relationship with God must be set correctly. If this is not set inside of our lives, then uh, disasters have no choice but to fall upon us. If we do not all before God, then uh, the skills that we have will come as disasters. It says, with your heart, with your characters, with your uh, all your strength, we must love God. And that is why even inside of our work, we must place our hearts uh, on characters and with, with our strength to do our best. Because we do not have this, we can see that uh, we are faced with a lot of problems. That is why we must teach our children to fear and awe God. 
There's more thing that is important than working diligently and working hard. We must know the reason why we are, we are doing this work. Then you are given uh, the knowledge uh, 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 to that work. Our elder prayed today. It is, uh, has become the time schedule where we, uh, it's been 20 years since we built this church, and now we are trying to uh, renew our, uh, our broadcast system and the lights and everything. And that is why for that, we have a lot of workers that are here for media and all of these parts. I said there's more things that is important than working diligently. We must find the reason why we are doing this work. God is preparing us for the 20, 237 nation, but we must know that there is a reason why God is letting, making us prepare for this. Not just working diligently, but if we know the reason why we are doing this work, then we are given the knowledge. When we concentrate for 10 years, something comes out. If you do the same work for 10 years, then a specialty will come out. Then when you're concentrating on the Word of God, and if something doesn't come out of that, then something's wrong. If you're concentrating on the Word of God and continues to listen to it, then great strength will be given to you. That is why in Genesis 1.28 it says, it says we must be fruitful and increase in numbers and fill the earth and subdue it and rule over. When we concentrate on the Word of God, then we are given the power to rule over the land. That is the spiritual strength. This one pastor keeps on giving this uh, confession. He came into this gospel movement when he was uh, in some of age. And through the pulpit, he said he, he mentioned that he, he could not really go fully inside of the gospel. But when he kept on concentrating on the word, he was he saw that he uh, overcame his limitations. And that is why he continued to listen to the words to face, uh, overcome all of the limitations. When he was listening to the word for six to seven years, in um, Matthew 16, it says, you will become like the foundation. And he became that kind of foundation. He faced a lot of problems in his life. He faced a lot of problems regarding people. And he, without him knowing, he lost all his strength. But when he concentrated on listening to the Word of God, he became the foundation inside of this Word. Faith it comes by hearing. Faith doesn't come just because you graduate from a prestigious college, a uni universities. Faith comes from hearing. Faith comes from hearing. 
I bless you in the name of Christ that all of Hana Church members become renewed inside of listening to the word of God and with the strength that to rely on God. Let's take a look at the first point. God has given us the message of conquering. If you see in verse 1 in the end, it says, The land to which you are going over to possess it. Before we, they even entered into the land of Canaan, God has given them the message to conquer. And that is why I make this message in, to only uh, the Israel, the people of Israel were killed off by Hitler. But uh, they held on to the, as they were killed off, they still held on to the word in Isaiah 6. And they held on to that, and they were later on were able to have conquest and conquer. And to the parents, it says, uh, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength, serve God and love the Lord your God. It's telling us to only hold on to the gospel. And then in verse 6, it says, Teach this to your children on, when you're seated, as you walk the way, as you're lying down, and when you're standing. Teach this to your children. Becoming a leader isn't an easy thing. Right now, uh, for the presidential elections, they have a, they set a leader and they place them. But everything is uh, shown. Yes, for the uh, leader to come out, they must face a lot of hardship. And a lot of people are crumbling inside of the relationship between people. It's not an easy thing to uh, deal with people. Because they have this uh, jealousy and enviness inside of them. And we can see that a lot of problems are shown inside of people. If you do not conclude with the gospel, we have no choice but to crumble inside of the relationship with, by, with people and we will crumble down. And that is why we must only make the people of the gospel and overcoming all of these relationships and doing the work of God. Most of the people, when they're faced with problems, they try to evade it. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the people, when they're trying, when they're faced with a the problem, they try to escape from it. It's a rightful thing. It's a logical thing also. But the people of the Bible were different. They made conflicts and they were faced with it. And they will make crisis and they will overcome it. And you can see that people of the Bible, they were faced with uh, conflicts. But when, when the problems came, they were not hindered. When the problem comes, uh, we see it as a problem, but we must really see it if that is really a problem. And we must think first if that crisis that is coming to us is if this is a real crisis. Because the people of the Bible, they were not hindered. 
they were not hindered, whatever the case was. That is because they concluded inside of the gospel. Joseph was not hindered by anything. But you can see that Joseph's brothers, they also talk, they always talked about uh, useless things. The king saw and his uh, people, they all thought of different things. But you can see David was never shaken. Because David made a conclusion inside of the gospel. If you see Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews, the people of the world could not uh, win over these people. What kind of people can the world, world not win over? It's the people who concluded inside of the gospel. Through the uh, incident of Stephen, they were all scattered. They must all run away. Uh, but they, these people gathered and they created the Antioch church. And we can see that many answers were given to these people. The persecution was not a problem. Why was that? That is because they had the conclusion inside of the gospel. In verse 8, it says, It says, on your, You shall bind them on your hands and your foreheads and your doorpost. It's telling us to only hold on to the gospel. And what kind of answer follows after that? If you see in verse 2 and 3, it says, I will give you the... Uh, we, uh, and in, you may increase greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey. If it is even a, just a small thing that we do inside of the gospel, that will increase, multiply greatly. If not, you will just work hard and that will become just a hard work and it's just, everything is a, it's a life in vain. Are you doing your work inside of the gospel or are you doing it outside of the gospel? That is the important thing. And God is the unique God. They held on, the Israelites they held on to the word and of the unique God. When we hold on to only God, that is when the answers of peace will, is given upon us. The Israelites, they had victory only hold on, holding on to the word of only. And we must conclude in only. What do we conclude in only? All the things that have been completed inside of this, uh, inside of the Old Testament is Acts 1 1. Acts 1 1 is only God. It's Acts 1 3, only God's kingdom. Acts 1 8 is only Holy Spirit. If you see the problems of this world correctly, then without the only God, only God's kingdom, only Holy Spirit, without that, we cannot overcome the problems. 
There are things that God has planted in、uh, Satan has planted inside of us. That is Genesis three six and eleven is emphasizing me. Emph- they're emphasizing the things of mine. That is Nephilim, and they're、uh, emphasizing. The Tower of Babel, which is success, false success. If that's the result, then what is the? Oh,、uh, if that's the result, then what? Why does that result come? It's because of Acts thirteen, sixteen, and nineteen. The people who know this problem correctly, then they have no choice but to hold on to Christ, and the kingdom of God is upon us. If it is not by the only Holy Spirit, we are faced with limitations. That is why the answer that is given to us, the only answer, is the Christ. God's kingdom and Holy Spirit. There's something that we must con- have conclusion inside of only, and that is Christ, God's kingdom, and only Holy Spirit. And when you have conclusion through this, then God will pour down answers to you. Must, that is where it means become only. I bless you in the name of Christ. That、uh, for all the Hana Church members, wherever you go, you will have only inside of your field. And secondly, it is the weaknesses of Israelites.、Uh, they knew the、uh, the one God. They knew that unique God, but they did not know that、uh, the all the world needed this one unique God. That is why they fell into the thought of that they were the only chosen people. The Israelites could not believe that the other nations needed also needed to listen to this gospel. God wants all of the people to know God, but the Israelites did not know this. That is why they, the Israelites, made the law into. Into、uh, policy, and that is why people who could not、uh, keep the law, they condemn them. And that is why they were、uh, the Israelites were obsessed over the traditions and the policy. Yes, traditions and the policy is important, but with that you cannot、uh, explain the gospel. And they also con- constructed a lot of things to remember Jesus, but they lost hold of the essence of the gospel. They lost hold of Christ, and they lo- have a loss in gospel. And that is why they made it so that they do not need the gospel. They did not know the spiritual fact. They did not acknowledge the work of Satan, or the omit the work of Satan. Only with Christ, we can win over Satan. By keeping the law, we cannot win over Satan. Not even with religion can we over win over Satan. 
God has created us to show His glory, that is why we must only hold on to the gospel. We cannot win over Satan with the idol. Idol is serving Satan. That is why inside of this world, idols have become culturalized. God has uh, given us the gospel, only the Holy Spirit, so that we can win over these idols and Satan. And that is when we will become, uh, we will gain great strength and power. If there is a weakness inside of the Israelites, they, with the good things, they block the gospel. That is their weakness. They had a great law, but they lost hold of the gospel. <clears throat> that is why they made religions. And you can see that they had complete failure. And third point, there is something that we must hold on to. We cannot win over Satan with anything else. That is why we must only experience gospel. I will come to a close of my word. God uses the evangelists. Who are the evangelists? People who have the conclusion inside of the gospel are the evangelists. That is why we must conclude inside of the gospel. The world is not an easy thing. Whenever we go into the field, we will face a, a, so many problems and we will meet so many people. We do not, uh, there is, the world that we think is comfortable does not exist. That is why we must become the evangelist to only enjoy the gospel. What is the gospel? Genesis 1 27, restoring that is the gospel. God breathed His uh, breath of life inside of us and we became a living being. And restoring that is, uh, holding on to that word is the gospel. And restoring the blessing of Garden of Eden is the gospel. And whenever we restore this, uh, restoration and healing will take place inside of our lives. This means we must find all of the answers inside of the Word. I'll tell you in the opposite side. If you find the answers inside of all of the uh, all of the problems and all of your field, then that will become the restoration of Genesis 127 and the the breath of life of God and restoration of Garden of Eden. What is having conclusion inside of the gospel? It is finding all the answers inside of the word. To those people, God will raise you up as an event, uh, the witness to save those all the people that are diseased inside of the field. You will be raised up as the witnesses of healing to those diseased people inside of the field. And that is when the hidden answers that are hidden will be given to us. The one disciple that had conclusion inside of the gospel 
and through that one person, the re that region will be restored. And that one person that has the, uh, is the disciple of having the conclusion inside of the gospel, those to those people inside of that that field, uh, the uh, Satan and the forces of darkness will be crumbled down. And then this is what we must experience. Let's take a look at the Israelites. The Israelites who held on to the message of only and uh, of conquering, then what must we hold on to? What did the Israelites lo lost hold of? And if we just hold on to that, then we will have victory inside of our lives. I bless you in the name of Christ, uh, just holding on to the gospel, and you will have victory inside of your field. Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus, our uh, God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for raising us up as the evangelist. May the, uh, we uh, experience gospel every day, and may we enjoy it. And may we really enjoy the blessing of conquering a ruling over the world. Uh, in Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.